And welcome back to Pikmin! Last time we did all we could in the Forest of Hope, except for one thing that you're not supposed to actually get, but we didn't get it, so that's fair. And this time we're heading to the Forest Naval, the new area that we got gained access to by getting a total of 5 out of 30 ship parts. So, I think I know a couple times I said ship parts when I meant treasure in Pikmin. Two and this is why because this is the goal in this game is the goal is to get treasure not in that game the goal is to get treasure but it throws me off because of this the differences between the two being very minute uh, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore I think I should just shut up at this point um we have 20 I took out 15 so I think I'll take 70 reds um. I am leaving a lot of empty space in my arsenal, or army, whatever you want to call it, on purpose. I'm leaving 15 slots open, very intentionally. I'm gonna put them all on the wall. Um, and speaking of walls, there are a lot of walls around the base camp, which is not good because it makes it hard to get stuff to us in a reasonable time. But here are our old friends, the blue Pikmin. I just realized I say our and R the same way. Uh, I should probably work on that. Um, now, something to keep in mind is you want to be careful because this isn't water. That's the bread bug. These are pellets. Yeah, do the math. Um, you want to be very careful that the bread bug does not steal any of the root blue pellets in this area, or you might just be completely messed up for the next area. So, um, I'm wait for the bread bug to get far enough away to do this safely. Um, dismiss. Um, the red and yellow Pikmin finished their thing. So that's good for us, good timing. There's a gear up there, uh, another wall back there. Um, And yes, once you have two blue Pikmin, you don't have anything to worry about because your main concern is that the bread bug will steal stuff. So, once you have two blue Pikmin, you don't have to worry about the bread bug. What you do have to worry about is the bread bug actually dying in the water because then you'd have to get enough blue Pikmin to actually carry stuff. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna chance it. Um, just leave one. Um, and actually taking out the bread bug in the water is good in some ways and bad in other ways, if that makes any sense. Because it is, you know, it's a good way to get blue Pikmin, but it's also bad because, you know, you have to raise, like, a ton of blue Pikmin to carry its treasure back, because, as you can see from the radar, the bread bug does have a, a sh ship part. So, what I want to do is actually take out the bread bug itself and the uh, will weaken the bread bug in the water, but not actually kill it in the water, if that makes any sense. I want to have it close by, but not actually like in the water, if that makes any sense. There's Olmar with his pontification again. Um, there, perfect. Uh, that's the space float. This is yet again optional. Now it's perfect, uh, because this way we don't have to have blue Pikmin carry the part, but we can get the bread bug, which gives us quite a few blue Pikmin. Um, we need a lot again for the next area. So this takes um, 25. Oh, it is so close to the water, we are actually gonna have to carry it back with uh, blue Pikmin. So that's a little bit annoying. But this is gonna take a while because there's no real place to get nectar in the immediate future, so this is the number one iron yum jet. Yes, there is the number two iron yum jet, as you can surmise. And we can come back up here. This is a geyser. If you break it open, you can use it to launch Olimar up the ledge, but it's so useless. <laughs> okay. Um, so with our very red and yellow army, we want to do something about these walls while the uh, Okay, we want to do two things actually. Um, first, we want to help out our blue, new blue friends uh, and get them some nectar. Hopefully, get them some nectar. And two, we want to actually um, 
Stop working on this. Oh, shoot. Uh, yellow. One yellow got in there, so we're just gonna wait. This is where the bridge glitch is most common, because this is diagonal. If a Pikmin gets under there right when the bridge is finished, it will be crushed. So, keep that in mind. Um, there's a yellow candy pop bud, we don't need anything with that for the time being. Call them. Keep them away from the bridge now. You can kind of see how the physics of it would work just by looking at the bridge, but it's super weird and random that <laughs> the glitches like this even exist. Yeah, the iron and jet's gonna take a long time to get back, so we can do some other stuff in the meantime. These are fiery blowhogs, we know what they are. Um, they're actually not as bad in this game because... Uh, no, I mean, they're actually worse in this game because you don't have purple Pikmin, so they are actually legitimately threatening at times. These 15 yellows aren't gonna get anywhere, but this is the gravity jumper. Uh, another ship part. So we're finding a lot of ones, we just can't collect any. Okay, so we want to do this. Um, get them all bombed and ready. Armed and ready, not bombed and ready. And they're done. Uh, the... Oh shoot, sorry dude. Um, why isn't he swimming? Because he swam in like a really awkward direction. Um, there's still one bomb in there, because they're 15. I just know this by memory, if you were, were wondering. Um, but we don't actually want to do anything with him yet. We want to go back and get the red Pikmin. And you know what? I was hoping that cutscene would not trick- I was just gonna comment on this cutscene. <laughs> I literally was. I was really afraid that this cutscene would prompt at the worst possible moment. Which it can. Um, if the cutscene just decides to play at a really inopportune moment, then you're just kinda screwed. But thankfully it didn't. That Wallywog is not normally on land, but uh, he's just kind of eyeing us, as they, we know Wallywogs do a lot. Um, we want to get the red Pikmin up here, but we don't actually want to do... Uh, well, we have... Okay, we have a pretty evenly divided force right now. We have 70 Pikmin. Uh, so I'm going to put like... Uh, oh, this is going to be bad, because... Um, yeah, this could be bad, really bad. Um, remove all them. <laughs> okay. And Wallywog is being unusually aggressive right now. Um, just gonna let him patrol back over. <laughs> okay, let's try this one more time. Um, build that bridge. Uh, two ways you can do this. You can basically build both bridges to the, the one where the yellows are now. Or you could just toss them up to the ledge, go around, use the geyser, and um, just do it that way. Uh, that's actually faster than building this second bridge, but uh, in the long run, it can actually save you time to build it. So I'm literally, I'm very torn over how to handle that. Well, the yellow, well, the reds can't do a whole lot anymore, so let's just have them be, be productive. Yeah, do not call these guys. In the Wii version, you can call them. In the, the GameCube version, you can't. Or else they'll drop their bombs, and bad stuff will happen. Because if you're not expecting it, then all of them will drop their bombs, and kaboom, your whole squad could go up in no time. I don't even know where they're taking that thing. Um, I read Trip, so I'm waiting for him. I'm waiting for Godot, but with Pikmin. The Pikmin version waiting for, for Godot. Um, yeah, see what I mean by Pikmin just kind of have a mind of their own. <laughs> so we want... Oh, they're taking it the long way. One, two, three... We want to take out this wall immediately. Oh, it's actually kind of close. <laughs> One, two, three... And done. So... That's one more thing we don't have to worry about. Gravity Jumper is coming right in, so we are gonna just wait. <laughs> Cause then a cutscene will prompt, so... Might as well just sit tight for a little bit. We're getting a ton of ship parts today. This is actually one of my best days. Um, 
Like pretty much whenever I play Pikmin, I always try to knock out a ton of stuff on this day, just because, well, you, you have to sit around with the blue Pikmin a lot, <laughs> quite frankly. Um, that gate down there is not actually helpful, if I recall correctly, because it makes the Pikmin want to go through a path full of um, Shearwigs. So we kind of don't want to deal with Shearwigs, so we don't want that gate to go down. We want them to go the semi-long way, in other words. I think with shield wigs are just right down there, we have to be very careful with, with this ship part, or else they might spawn. Um, oh, well that was kind of bad timing on my part. Uh, yeah, sometimes they can be positioned in a way that even that drop will trigger the shield wigs, so you have to be very careful. Um, like there. Like, they, the shield was spawning, so they, the Pikmin immediately started attacking, which could have been bad. I want to see if I can trick this out. Uh, um, it's like, okay, that's too close to the water. Uh, this could be bad. Uh, come on, little guy. Okay, everyone lived somehow. Um, that would self to try that. <laughs> We're gonna have to come back with blue pick and actually do that. Okay, so we can kind of branch paths here with my route. You can either work ahead towards other ship parts, or you can uh, just focus on raising blue Pikmin. Um, so yeah, two ways you can do this. Uh, I think I'll do the latter, to be honest. Uh, wow, camera. I don't know what I was doing with the camera there. Um, I think some of the reds are leaves as well, so we'll come down here with the blue and red squads. Some are buds because of the fight with the, uh, well actually because of the, after getting knocked off the gear. So we have a, uh, some flower blues Pikmin now, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna try to think about what our next step should be. Um, we can start working on tearing down some more walls, but we could also start working on um, some non-bombable walls, or like this one. This is actually not required, it's just a shortcut, again. Um, this is another shortcut. Uh, it's on a hill, which is actually really hard to bomb stuff on. Oh wait, this is the wrong rock. This is the wrong bomb. Wrong wall I'm bombing. I, don't, I can't speak. So. Yeah, that was a slight time waster, but oh well. What I'm gonna do is put away the yellow Pikmin. I could have gone. If I, I could focus on raising blue Pikmin to get the space float, but um, it's just as fast to do it the other day on another day. Uh, there's stuff down there that we can get, but not obviously within our time limit, you can't do that. I think a one day forest naval is actually possible, but I've, I'm have i not sure how it would even be done. Because, I don't know, it just seems like this is one of the more confusing areas. With a few really, really long ship parts. Um, sometimes there's your wigs as far over as here, kind of, but... I don't know, good luck. Uh, maneuver around the water and the fire. You want this guy to not be facing this way. Uh, or anywhere away from the water, for obvious reasons. The crash and glitch, again, doesn't seem that prevalent with that guy, so... I don't worry about that. Um, so that's just, you know, working ahead, basically. Um, there's these ship parts behind that wall. Actually, let's just take a look at the map for a second. There's one in the water, which we need like a ton of blue Pikmin for. Two over that way. Uh, one by the blue onion, that's the space float, which is actually optional. And two back in the corner caverns. Let's just take a look at what we have to do over here. So right off the bat, you can tell there are tons of bugs, and there's a mushroom in the distance. So you could possibly see its glowing eye stalks in the background. Um, 
That's the Puff Stool, and it is one of the worst enemies to fight if you're doing a Deathless run because of how glitchy its hitbox is. <laughs> um, yes, many accidental Pikmin deaths because of the Puff Stool. There's also one behind a wall back there, which we can't quite get yet. Yeah, see, this area is pretty small, but it just winds, and thus it looks like it's smaller than it actually is. Um, we want to wait till the last possible minute to call a picnic, because we are reckless. <laughs> um, it's not the last possible moment, because I wouldn't want to lose 100 Pikmin. A uh, 70 Pikmin, I can't count. So, since we're just sitting here, might as well just go to the sunset, save us 40 seconds of waiting. You know, it took about 40 seconds going through that menu. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, a GameCube. Uh, it's kind of weird playing so many GameCube games all in a row. Counting Wind Waker, even, because it's technically GameCube. Um, and Luigi's Mansion, you have, like, Wind Waker, which is technically, again... And I'm just in a GameCube mode, because I don't know how long my GameCube is going to last, to be honest. So I want to get through as many GameCube games that I want to play as I can. This makes logical sense, and we have gone four days without losing a single Pikmin, which I am very, very proud of, because... <laughs> I, I, I can't even say I'm proud of it, because it's mostly just luck. <laughs> uh, it's luck if you actually encounter the glitch or not, or if you don't encounter it. Uh, so, well, I guess we're lucky then. So we got three ship parts, we could've gotten four in theory, but in actuality, three is not too bad. Next time, we will be going back to the Forest of Hope. Yes, we could just go over here to the impact site, but frankly, it is more advantageous to go back to the Forest of Hope, so that is our next stop. So next time, we will be doing that.